trailblazing fish stocking program has seen one million barra finglings released into Lake Kununurra since 2013, creating a unique and quality sports fishery right here in the Kimberley. All one million barra released into the lake have been hatched and reared at North Regional TAFE's Aquaculture Centre in Broome. The centre's aquaculture experts are influential in the stocking program's success. So we're just about to feed uh, a tank of it. A tank of our big female <laughs> brood stock. Clearly they're pretty hungry. Um, so these, these broodies we've got here are our female stock. We've got another tank there of females and we've got another tank over the back of our male brood stock. We keep them independent so that we can cycle them at different times of the year. So that we can ensure that we've got at least four chances to supply fish to the lake uh, for restocking. Realistically, we can do it in two batches. We only really need two batches of 200,000 to, to get fish into the lake for adequate supply, at least at this stage, until further research can be done on the lake and how much it can handle. But at this stage, these animals are going through a winter. They'll come back up from a winter, so basically 21 degrees. They'll come up to around about 31 degrees, and through that phase, we want to feed them like crazy so that we get really good egg quality, really active sperm, so that when we come in to spawn these animals, we can get really good hatch rates and really healthy babies. During the, the cycle of these animals in this tank, the students we have come through our door always are always involved in the, the husbanding of these animals. So doing the water quality, the feeding, making sure that they're looking, you know, for the health of the animals. But primarily the most exciting thing for our students is to get in here, handle these big fish and see the spawning, well see the result of the spawning. The spawning happens at night, so no one's here for that. But to see the result of the spawning the following morning with the eggs actually hatching at roughly anywhere between 9 and 10 o'clock in the morning and then from there on for that week being involved in the feeding and the husbanding of those little fish in the hatchery next door. We're just in the algae lab at the moment. The algae lab is one of our critical start-up points for running a batch of barramundi through our hatchery here in Broome and really it's the most critical phase without having good quality algae in our, uh, in our work flow here at the hatchery we would have less success with the restocking to Kununurra. Uh, within this room itself, we take these cultures here. Uh, this one's a very specific green algae that assists in the growth of young barramundi. Uh, so we buy these cultures in from the CSIRO lab in Tasmania and we scale them up through these small flasks. They end up in these bigger carboys up here and into the tanks behind me that you see. And that's a critical stage that happens prior to spawning the barramundi. In this room we train our students in the function of algae and how important it is in, in growing things like barramundi. Uh, we can also bring algae species in here that are relevant for prawns and cherubin and marine ornamentals and things as well. So within this stage the students will learn about primarily about hygiene and nutrition of the algae. So just making some final checks on these fish for today. These fish are just getting ready to go to Kununurra tomorrow morning at 2am. So the staff are just working away in the background there trying to finalise the components for the, for the transport tomorrow. The fish themselves are around about 40 days old and are somewhere in the order of 35 to 55 mil. And at this stage they can be acclimated across the fresh water, currently they're at salt, but that process will happen tonight and then again at the lake when they're up in Kununurra. In this stage, prior to where we're at right now, our students have been involved in the grading and feeding of these fish, monitoring of the water quality and other parameters. Uh, and it's just really important that we engage with our, our students as a, around the importance of restocking work uh, and aquaculture in supporting restocking. <laughs>